Hi everyone, Nigos Bafidis here from Sunny Cyprus and welcome to today's tutorial which is all about those pesky apostrophes which go in front of numbers making those numbers unusable in formulas or calculations or charts. We're going to learn how we can remove these apostrophes very easily not with one but four different ways. We normally see this happen when we have a Microsoft form set up and we create a, a text object where we want users to enter numerical values. It could be an answer to a maths problem or any other numerical data that we want. Now, because we're putting it, the answer in a text box, it actually adds a little apostrophe when we export the results into Excel in front of the numbers, so it sees the numbers as text. I think one of the reasons it does this, despite the fact that we're putting it into a text box, is mainly because Excel has many different uh, formats for the cells and your default format might be different. So you might see the number represented as something else, maybe a date or currency or something like that. So, so as to make sure you're actually seeing what the user has entered, it converts it into a text value. But that makes these numbers unusable when we want to create calculations or charts. So I think uh, we might as well just get started straight away and have a look at a sample form. I made this form here, very just a very small form. It's actually got two entries for someone to answer two numbers in. If we have a look at the preview. So these are just text boxes and I've got a, a rating one here. And the reason I've got the rating is because we're going to see the rating is actually, uh, when we export the, the results, is actually going to see this as numbers and these are going to be text. So if I go to the preview and I just I'll put some numbers in here, say 56. Here I'm going to put a decimal value, say, 47.558 and I'm just going to put here on the rating let's say a 7. I'm just going to submit that very quickly. There we go and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go and see these responses. You can see I've got five responses on this. I've already sent some uh, so we've got some data to work with. Now as soon as I go to open in Excel it's going to download. You see here it is here and if I go here it's actually downloaded it. Here is my Excel file it's downloaded it and now when I open this, here are my results. So I'm just going to click on enable editing here and I'll just zoom this in a little bit more so you can see clearly. Here we go. So here's answer one, here's answer two. Here are the two answers that I put in and my rating which was a seven. And if I try and do a calculation here for example or a function equals to sum um, and I'm going to add all these numbers together you can see I get a zero. And if I drag this over, I get a zero here, but here I get a 34. And the reason is this was the rating uh, object, and that's actually seen as a number. We can see it's a number because by default, it's on the right-hand side. These are aligned to the left. So if I click on this one here, and then click on the formula bar, you can see in the formula bar up here, or here in the answer one, it's got that little apostrophe. And that's what's creating this effect it's making it into a text value if i delete this manually look what happens if i delete that apostrophe you can see automatically it's aligned to the right because it's a numerical value and that's now changed to a four but we want, don't want to be doing this manually for every single value so i'm just going to do a quick undo i'm going to leave my sum functions there so you can actually see when they start working okay so i'm going to show you four different methods on how you can remove the apostrophes now some of these methods are actually going to resolve the issue of this function here giving me a zero the others will not they will just simply remove the apostrophe and it will still see it as text but there is a way that you can make it see the value as a number as well so let's start with the first option okay so first off i'm going to select the cells which have got my numerical values with apostrophes in front and we can see this here Okay, so we can see the apostrophe there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cells or the columns which have got the numbers inside with the apostrophes in front. And that's these two columns here. Then I'm going to go to my home menu. That's this one here, the home ribbon. I'm going to find the clear command. I'm going to click on the drop down list and I'm going to choose clear formats. Now that now has removed all the apostrophes from in front of these numbers. And I can see that if I click on this one here, let's say F3, which has got the number five, in the formula bar here, I can see the apostrophe is gone. Now, this hasn't made Excel identify this as a number though. And I can tell this because these values are still aligned to the left-hand side. And by default, unless you've made some changes to Excel, then by default, all text values are aligned to the left and all numerical numbers are aligned to the right. 
just like these ones here. These are actually seen as numbers, so they're aligned to the right hand side. Also, these functions here have not recalculated automatically to show me the sum of all these numbers. If I want to convert, or if I want basically to make Excel identify this as a number, then I have to either double click inside this cell and press enter. And there you go, it's identified as a number, it's aligned to the right and I can see my sum function is working, it's seen the first number. The other way is I can click in the formula bar up here one time, press enter, it's the same thing, I'm going into edit mode, press enter, and you can see these two numbers now are added together. Now, I haven't found a way to select all the data and make it see all the numbers as uh, as numbers essentially in one go. So if you do know a method on how you can actually do this automatically instead of doing it one by one, by all means, put a comment. Now, I have also tried uh, generating or converting this into a number and still that won't work, okay? So that's, that's the first uh, basic uh, technique on removing the apostrophes. Let's look at the second one. Okay, so the second method is by using the paste values method. So essentially what you would do, you would select the data which you have, which are numbers again, has, have got the apostrophes in front. I'm going to right click copy, you can press control C. And then if I right click and paste values, this one here, anywhere else, then these numbers here, you can see do not have an apostrophe in front. But this does actually mean pasting your values somewhere else. You can't paste back into the cells which you've copied. So not a very useful technique if your functions are here. The other thing that you can do also is you can select the whole table, control C, I can go to a new spreadsheet and then right click, let's just zoom in a bit, right click, paste the values, and there we go. It's now got my numbers in here, but again, they don't have an apostrophe, but again, they are seen as text. So it's the same issue as before. I need to go into edit mode by double clicking and pressing enter, and now that's seen as a number. So again, um, a useful feature if you're using other functions, but it's not really good if you want to actually use uh, functions on calculated functions on these numbers. So let's go back. Okay, let's go and see option number three. Okay, for this method, we're going to use the text to column feature. And this is a fantastic feature and it worked really well. Let's check it out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select my data. Now I can only select one column at the time with this particular method. So I can't select both of these. I need to select only one column. Then I'm gonna to go to my data ribbon. And from here, we can see the option text to columns. Now, text to columns, as soon as I click on this, we're going to get a dialog box. And essentially, I found that you don't really need to change anything, but I'll show you some of the features here. I can just click on finish and look at that. Automatically, all these numbers are recognized as numbers. They're aligned to the right, and my sum function now is working. Fantastic. Let's just go back. So the other things that we can have a look at in case this doesn't work is to make sure that we give the correct text qualifier. So if I go back to text to columns, I'm choosing the limited and that basically means something which is separating character, which is separating um, the, the data. I'm gonna to go to next. And here, instead of using a tab delimiter, we can actually remove that, choose other, and in here you can put an apostrophe. And that basically tells it that what you're using to um, separate the, the data is an apostrophe, so it removes the apostrophe and um, tabulates basically that data and it's seen as a number. So I can click on finish. You don't really need anything else um, in this dialog box. So if I click on finish, there we go. Look at that. So these are numbers. Now I would need to do this for each column. So I would need to go back to this, text to column in the next one. I'm just going to click on finish and there we go. Fantastic, it works. So that is a method that actually works and your functions would work automatically because it recognizes that data as numbers. Okay, let's look at the final method which I'm going to show you and this is my favorite one because you can select all the data in one go and it will see all the data as numbers. Okay, so I've reset everything here. You can see all these numbers have got apostrophes in front. And now we're going to see the, the, this final method, which is using the paste special function and the number one. 
So what do I mean by the number one? Anywhere in your spreadsheet, just click and put the number one. Okay, so we just want the number one in here anywhere. We're going to get rid of it after, but we need it just so that we can fix this little apostrophe issue that we've got. Next, we're going to select copy. So I'm going to right click and copy this number one. The next step is I'm going to select all the data, which is problematic, has got the apostrophes in front. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose paste special. I'm not going to choose the options from here, but if I am, I'm going to go down to here. I want to click on paste special and I get this dialog box. So what I want to do now is I want to multiply. So I'm going to select this one. And what this is going to do, it's going to take every single value in my selection, say the 4, 5, 8, 345, 56, 15, 14, so on and so forth. And it's going to multiply it by one. By doing so, everything becomes a number. Have a look. As soon as I click on OK, there you go. All of this data now is modified. It is right aligned. It's a number and my sum function works as well. And guess what? If I press escape and delete the number one, there we go. Problem fixed. Now, why did that work? Well, I'm just going to go back a step to show you. So here is where we've got the, let me just press escape, delete the number one. So here we see everything here has got apostrophes. I've been using these functions, the sum function, we can see these don't work. However, even with the apostrophe in front, many times you will see that if I do this equals to, if I'm not using a function, I'm using a calculation, I'm going to select this one plus this one, that actually does calculate. So some of your calculations will work, a lot of your functions will not work. Here's another function that will probably not work. If I use the count function, so if I do equals count, and the count function will return how many uh, cells, which I select, let's say I select these ones here, contain a numerical value. We can see it says zero. So none of these are seen as numerical values. But calculations will actually, uh, when we actually do this one plus this one, or something multiplied by something else, for example, equals to this times this, that actually works. So it can actually find the numerical data and use it in calculation. Well, that's it. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found it useful. And if you've had this issue in the past and you now found you found a way to fix it, then by all means, like and subscribe. I see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.